Hi, I'm Sean Stevenson, and I want to know, are you a genius? And if you answered, uh, no, you actually might be wrong, because I believe that everyone is a genius. Now, you might be thinking, oh, Sean, that's a bunch of personal growth hogwash. Some people are stupid. And I would agree, some people are uneducated, and I would agree that some people don't apply their intelligence. However, I didn't reconsider my opinions on geniusness until just recently. Ever since I was a little kid, I admired people who were geniuses. And I had this picture in my mind of what a genius really is. I thought of things like people such as Bill Gates, Albert Einstein, Dr. Stephen Hawkins. And I thought of all these people and thought, you know, they are the geniuses. I'm just, you know, I'm smart, I'm a good guy, but am I really a genius? I don't know. Until one day I realized that everybody is a genius. In fact, I'm going to read you something right now. A genius is something or someone who embodies exceptional intelligent, intellectual ability, creativity, or originality. So again, it's not just about how smart you are. It's also how you use your intelligence, your creativity, and your originality. And then I started to think about, what am I a genius on? What am I a genius in? And then it came to me. Rapport. That's something that comes naturally to me. I can naturally put myself into any crowd and get a dialogue going and really create an environment where people feel comfortable with me. And it comes like breathing to me. Now, that's not bragging. That's just where I have found something comes naturally to me that other people may say, oh, that's so difficult. How can he make friends so quickly? How can he do, you know, business meetings and have everybody comfortable and want to buy from him? How does he attract a perfect mate to be marrying him? What is that all about? For me, it was rapport. And I believe that rapport is all about somebody feeling that they can trust you and that you respect them. That as soon as we feel that we trust someone and that they respect us, we open up. Our minds, our hearts, our wallets, everything. Now, if somebody abuses that, we call them a con artist. However, if somebody cherishes that and takes good care of us, we call that somebody who is very socially acute. It's very open-minded in terms of understanding communications. But I want to know, what's your genius in? You know, there's many different kinds of geniusness. There's being a genius in athletics. You know, somebody like Michael Jordan was cert certainly a basketball genius. And then you have geniuses in music and art. And we have geniuses in fashion and geniuses in child raising and intellectual debates. And we have geniuses in social humanitarian issues and sciences. I mean, there's so many levels here and many variations of geniusness. You don't want to get caught up in the trap of thinking just because you're not book smart or well-educated in formal education that you're not a genius. You are a genius. And you have to find what is your geniusness in. Because when you find your genius ability and you are able to create a profit around that, you have an amazing passion. You have a talent that is being implemented. And you'll be able to wake up every morning using that genius ability to make a difference for your family, your finances, and the world. Go find your genius ability. I'm Sean Stevenson, and thanks for watching.